I, you know, you gotta welcome back to the Ultimate Thunderdome. Dr. Britton is back for his third time. He says, this is the same guy who opened the last Ultimate Masters, got the great first box, and got crushed, crushed on box two, everybody. Okay. Oh, man. Ah! Get in the zone, everybody. No screwing around today. Just because there's a fancy intro does not give you the right to act like this channel is a joke. All right, two lilies in a carn. We it's been a while since we have just had a destructive home run out of control opening. This may be it. We've got the crazy silver haired Rudy over here. We've got our girl Lily with the beautiful looking eyes, and um, we're going all in. We're going all in, folks. We're going all in. Doctor Britton, um, also known as first name B, last name S, not BS, because this box is going to be epic. Look at the camera. Don't even want to look. Look at the camera's like I don't care about this. Show me the box top. Here, we're going to hide that. The camera's getting too excited. All right, is everybody ready? All right, here we go. Ah, come on! That's pack one! Oh, God, what a brutal first start. What a brutal pack one! Pack one wild. I know everyone, comment section. Hashtag Wildwood, congratulations. All right, pack two. All right, all is dust. Nice little rare. Very nice. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, okay. Come on, here we go. Ultimate Masters, baby. Resurrection, the Wall of Reverence for the nice couple dollars. Wait, is Wall of Reverence even a couple dollars? I don't even know if it's... It's only like a dollar or two at this point. Is anybody even following that? All right, Plumyville. Cavernous Soul! That's the same mythic we got originally in the other video. Cavernous Soul. Isn't that what we got on the... Um, Dr. Britt, isn't that what we got on the other last video? Oh, no, that was Karn. No, no, I think we did get it. I think, I'm pretty sure we did. All right, oh, man, epic. Okay, epic. And Glenelendra. Are we getting the same cards as the other video? I'm getting a little suspicious. Lily, it has been so long since you've made an appearance. It's disturbing. I'm in a state of sad-facedness. All right, Rudy's Giant Elemental. And a nice little altar. Very nice, very nice. Oh, no pressure, no pressure. No pressure, everybody. No pressure at all. Paul, actually, that's a decent little card. And Rudy, uh, this, nobody's here for Rudy's ex. Why? Nobody's here. Nobody's here. All right, come on. Cavern of Souls, Mythic One. Not bad. Not bad. Very nice. Very nice start. And a lava. Ah, oh, wild one and the lava claw already. Oh, uh, come! On. <laughs> it's so painful. It's so painful. And flagstones, actually it used to be flagstones of a dollar, but now it's actually like flagstones of three, four bucks. Actually gone up a little bit, everybody. Alright, come on, here we go. Raid, and good looking Miss Rhea. Her hair never moves. Anybody notice that? Her hair always stays the same. Should we go box stopper? I don't know. I'm hoping for one more big hit to get us in that momentum. Alright, Faith, and a Balefire Dragon. Is this the same mythic we got? I think... I remember getting that in the other video the other day. All right, let's get the... We need something good. Give us the box topper. Give us the box topper, folks. All right, here we go, everybody. Here we go. For the love of all that is the tacos around the universe, please no Wildwood or Lava Claw. And please don't give me a special lighthouse box topper. Platinum Imperium. I'll take it. I'll take it. Not a lily. Not a top tier. I'll take the mid tier. It's not the bottom. I'll take it. Platinum Imperiums are box topper. Not the worst. Not the best. We're looking in the middle. That's fine. We'll take it. We'll take it. All right. And Entomb. Very, very nice little uh, historical rare. The old Entombs and the sinkholes and all that. Very, uh... When was Entomb first around? Was that a Tempest? No. I don't know. Young Lily. And you're on stage, Dr. Britt. All right, here we go. Here we go, folks. Here we go. Think twice. And Demonic Tutor. Very, very probably. I'm still surprised they reprinted this as a rare in this set. With an amazing piece of art and everything. That is a fantastic card. So that's still got to be in the top 100 most iconic magic cards ever. That is an amazing card. Oh! I'm Imperium Mythic! Holy crap, look at that! And a bridge from Rudy! Okay. I can go with that. That's not bad. Okay. Foil, Mythic, and Wow, that's kind of...
creepy and weird. Well, I hope my patron likes the old uh, Platinum Imperium. I hope he likes that card. Because <laughs> uh, you're getting one of every version, apparently. Okay, that's interesting. Hey, Fulminator Mage, he's holding a nice $10. Very nice, okay. So not bad. We need, an we need two good Mythics to really wrap this up. Maybe a couple more good rares, like Ancient Tomb or Noble High Arc Option. But uh, you know, we're, we're not bad. Rudy jumping around. And a Dig Through Time. God, I remember that card. That was such a controversial card when it came out. I mean, I can see why they put it in a Master Set, because it's symbolic, but really? And Karn Liberated. I'm going to act calm. I'm going to be calm. Okay. 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 We got a Karn. That's what we're talking about. That is what we needed. Okay. Oh, okay. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Excellent. Okay. Karn in a cavern. Only one crappy mythic. Very bizarre. I don't know what's going on with those platinums, but... Okay. And a gamble. Nice little Urza Saga rare. Not bad. Gamble's probably a $5 card. Okay, here we go. And the old generator servant from what? M15? And uh, a... <clears throat> God. A little grin of yours. Yeah, Rudy's brother. Ridiculous. Lily, will you please make an appearance today? That's all we're all asking for. Is that too much to ask? Noble High Arc! Okay. We'll take we'll take Grandma Lily. We'll take it. Noble High Arc. Excellent. Excellent box. Okay. Whew. Okay, this is this is good. Noble High Arc. We got Demonic Tutors. Platinum. Box Topper and Mythic. Karn Cat. Okay, this is good. This is nice. This is a nice video. Revel Arc. Did we already get... No, that was Wall of Reverence. I was like, wait a minute. Did we already get that? Okay, this is a nice video. This is good. This is going smooth. A lot better. Engineered Explosives. Fantastic rare, everybody. Very iconic card from the old... What was that? Fifth Dawn era? Fantastic. Dark Steel or Fifth Dawn? One of those. All right, here we go. Songs of the Dam and a Norse... Ah, the Shoal. Time to play. Sub game. Which fish is Rudy? Anybody? I'll give you a hint. Let me get Rudy's tool. Let me get your tool. I'm right there today. That's right. I'm right there today. Okay. That took too much time. I apologize to everybody who's still watching the video. End of box one. Overall, I, you know what? That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad at all. That was actually one of the better Ultimate Masters uh, boxes that we have done in quite a long time, everybody. That was actually pretty decent. We got box stopper number two. Um, we've never actually opened two boxes and had duplicate box toppers. Can you imagine that? How insanity would that be? We got two Karns and a Vine. I know I don't make fun of the Vine anymore because everybody said, Rudy, the Vine is actually worth quite a bit. I used to make fun of it. Okay, here we go. We're going box two, everybody. Starting off with a Groundskeeper and a Gamble. Uh, not too bad. Smooth start. Move our box topper. Here we go. All right. Dr. B, box two, everybody. And a note, wow, okay. We could be going into some really hard-hitting oh, epicness, everybody. This could be literally a non-stale. We're going, this is fresh made. This is this is good, this is good. Foil, foil. And a through the Rudy. Very, okay, excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. We are hitting good hit after good hit. Sorry, my piles are getting a little, let me straighten up a little. There we go. All right, excellent start of this video. Or, not video, uh, box two in the video. And Revel Arc again. All right, should we jump to the box topper? I just want to see a lily. It's been so long. It's been months since we've seen a lily. And a... Uh, you know, the only positive thing I can say is at least we didn't get a lighthouse in the first box. We're already at two lava claws in one video. No lighthouse. We did get the Rudy's brother stirring well. We got all the other garbage, though. Mika Kor... No, not Mika Koro. It's the unhallowed. Wrong, sorry. Wrong Mika Mika. Mythic number one. So box one only had three mythics, but we didn't have a foil mythic. Box two, we're starting off with the unhallowed there. We're going to go one more. Here we go. <clears throat> then we're going to jump over to box topper, I think. Ah, the alchemist. Eldritch or shadows? Glenelendra. Wow, some strange duplication on the rares there, everybody. Anybody notice that? Definitely strange uh, on the video. Oh, mythic. Foil mythic number two. Two foil mythic Sagada. Wow, and another shoal, Rudy the Fish. We already identified which fish I am right in the middle area where the, everybody should be smiling. Okay. That's kind of on the crazy side. Double foil mythic. Okay. 
that's two boxes, two foil mythics. This is okay. And okay, Raging Ravine. That one's decent. Not as good as the old uh, <laughs> Celestial, but you know what? Raging, not bad. And we're going to the Repel. Ancient Tomb, very good again. Okay. So, again, Mythics are uh, on the weak side for about halfway through the box. But boy, good rare. Oh, Reanimate Rare. And, wow. This box is producing Foil Rare Animate. Wow. Reanimate. And the Evil Revenge of the Venge of the Vine. Mythic number two. Okay. All right, come on, box topper. We're doing it. This is it. Make or break my day, everybody. And my patron, Dr. B. Everybody ready? Ah, oh, Balefire. We are just not getting lucky on the box toppers. The Balefire Dragon. Well, um, strange, I, I, really weird. We've had some weird, I don't know if anyone's ever going to want to do an Ultimate Masters video on this channel again. Daybreak Cornet. Weird box toppers. All right, moving on. Dig through time again. Come on, that's terrible. Well, we had a nice rhythm going. Let's get back on track. Keep the rhythm. We, we were doing really well. All right, Fume Spitter. Does that really say Fume Spitter? That really does say Fume Spitter. The Pulse. The Milestone Pulse. All right. Is the, you know, the Pulse used to be like a $10 card. Pepperidge Farm remembers. Gorgeous Angelic Removal. Take a moment and appreciate the beauty. And another All is Dust. Okay, a lot of... Very strange, we're not getting a lot of cards, but we're getting duplicates of all the same ones. That's kind of creepy, but okay. Travel and Nagoro's Vengeance. Okay, nice little uh, $5, 10 card. Hopefully that's still $5 to $10. And here we go, Grave Scrambler. It's a land. Please don't be a lighthouse. All right, calling on. There we go, Celestial. Very nice, best of the land cycle. What are those, uh, what are those the man lands? I don't remember the name of those things. Very cool. And Old Man Rudy. Not bad. Okay, so we're getting a lot of good mid-range cards here. Uh, we need a couple heavy-hitting Mythics. And this is actually... We could swing this pretty nice here. Think twice. And a Seismic Assault. Is this actually... I think it's gone up a couple dollars, but it's, I still think it's a crappy card. It's annoying. I know there's, there's combos and everything with that whole land thing, but still. The whole discarding and... Yeah, I know. Anyways. Alright, moving on. Sovereigns. No big deal. Come on, we've only got three more packs down there. Iguana and a Lord of Extinction. Well, Mythic number three, Lord of Extinction. Whoo! Man, big money, no worries. And another Shoal. At least the Shoals are a couple dollars. All right, Lily, you clearly just have no interest in making an appearance on this, in this channel. Another Demonic Tear, that's fantastic. Okay. That's really good. Very strange, but okay. And ending on a Squee Goblin Naboo. Well, this was a strange opening. We had two foil... We had two foil mythics. Very... This was a weird video. A lot of demonic tutors. We had... Do, we had this is really weird. Anyways, at least it was better than the last one. This wasn't actually a bad opening. Uh, the biggest thing is we had weak mythics. Like box one, where we had the cavern and the carn, you, uh, you need to have some sort of lily, carn, ca you need some sort of heavy hitting mythics to skew the numbers. But at, the rares in the foil slots were actually extraordinarily good. Uh, the box toppers were both kind of weak, but. Alright, thanks for watching, everybody. What a ride doing these things. Whew. You have no idea how these things are going to unfold. And again, as always, Britain, thank you for being a very kind patron. Uh, enjoy the cards, and uh, wow. Big money, no whammies. Am I right, everybody?